Some 1,000 beneficiaries of the Wings to Fly scholarship program will now take off to begin studies in various secondary schools across Kenya. The program, which seeks to benefit the less fortunate in the community, received more than 20,000 applications in 2018, out of which only 1,000 were selected. We had 74% of all the graduates we presented, 2,000 of them, they scored a C plus and above suggesting that uh, for every 10 scholars we presented, we assured seven will go to university. Speaking during the commissioning at the Kenyatta University, Education Cabinet Secretary Amina Mohammed asked the scholars to make the best of the opportunity and help those in a similar situation in future. The world as we know it, it's about your personal world, it's about your community's world, it's about your family world. So education is the most powerful tool that you can use to change the world. Go out there, acquire that weapon, sharpen yourselves, achieve the best that you can ever be, and that's all that we can ask for. Since inception, 10,084 students have cleared secondary education, 8,062 of whom have since joined universities, while 2,022 are in technical, vocational and training institutions. I would say it has been a great experience. It has really empowered me as a, at a personal level. And I would advise the, the 2019 cohort and the other scholars out there that uh, when you're given an opportunity, grasp it and utilize it to the maximum. I want to be the first lady to design the bridge that will be held, that will be in, that will be situated in Ramchel, to bring, uh, to build our country. That's uh, my main aim, to build uh, Sudan, to build Sudan, to be like Kenya, to be like other countries, more other, to be like America. A pleasure that, uh, and it is my wish to go to a school outside of Lamu, so that I can accomplish my dream of becoming a pilot. Equity Group CEO James Mongi said there has been a 100% transition from school to work for all the beneficiaries. Meanwhile, the Marsabit County government has launched the Young Scholars Fund for Equal Education. The county's primary school's admission stands at 70%. Majority of children in Marsabit who complete primary school do not transition into secondary because of challenges mainly related to financial difficulties. <laughs> Fazal Ahmed, Citizen TV.